What's going on guys, Jason Moss here. In today's video, I wanna show you one of my favorite uh, widgets that I use all the time. And most importantly, this is how to create a really stunning reviews page on your local business website. Okay, so let's hop in here. Uh, the first thing I want you to notice that we're on our agency website here, mostech.org slash reviews. You can actually go here and visit this yourself. But this is what we're talking about here, okay? Because obviously you can build anything you want on your reviews page, but we're going to be talking about this widget here. Okay. Now what this does is it pulls in all of our reviews from Google, Facebook, Trustpilot, and a number of other sources if we want to. And I'll show you how you do it. Um, but it looks great. Um, it pulls all their information whenever people leave a review on those platforms like Google or BBB, Trustpilot it automatically sucks them in. You do not have to keep updating this on a regular basis. It constantly pulls it in, okay? And it displays it in, we have this in the masonry uh, layout, but there's a number of different ways that you can do it, all right? And if you're wondering, this looks great on mobile too. It looks, it looks amazing, okay? Uh, but this reviews widget that we are talking about here, this is from a company, called elfsite.com. I'll put all the links in the description below. Uh, but elfsite is quickly becoming one of my go-to sources for different types of widgets, okay? Because a couple things here. If you're using a regular WordPress site, you can of course use plugins, and I think elfsite actually has some plugins. But if you're using other types of sites, okay? Uh, maybe a Wix site or Squarespace, or like a lot of my clients, they use a platform called carrot.com, okay? And they don't have plugins that you can use, all right? But you can install scripts, okay? That's what all of these widgets are based off of is just a script code and you can put it anywhere on your website. Doesn't matter what kind of platform it is, it's going to work, okay? So it's very, very awesome. And you see, let me hover over this, uh, widgets. They have tons of different widgets. It's insane how many widgets that they have. Um, and they have a lot of different pricing plans. The cool thing is they do have a free pricing plan, okay? What we're gonna be talking about today though is the all-in-one reviews uh, widget, okay? So it's right here. And I already was looking at the pricing here. You can see that they do have a light version. If you're just running website, one website, which a lot of you guys are, um, the free version might work perfectly fine. It's only up to 200 views, um, but that, that might be perfectly fine. I mean, 200, re, uh, 200 views to your reviews page on your website, that might be perfectly fine for you, okay? If not, you can spend a just a little bit of money, um, you know, to use it. But let's check it out here real quick. And on their page, I mean, they have a lot of different things. Um, they show you a lot of different, you know, things that it can do. Um, you know, a lot of selling features and whatnot, but I'm going to hop into it, actually show you how to do it. Also, one of the coolest things about ElfSite with all of their widgets is you can create widget and you can literally play with everything on the site without even like creating a profile or anything. You can play with it. Um, but when it's time to actually install it, I mean, yes, that's when you have to, um, you know, sign up for their service, um, use the free one, whatever. Okay. But let's hop into it here because we're, I'm going to show you one of my client sites. And this is ChristopherEllenHolmes.com slash reviews. And this is his widget that we did, right? So it's pulling everything from Google, Facebook, Trustpilot, um, Yelp. I think there's a BBB on here as well. Um, yeah, there's a BBB. But it looks, looks great. And I believe they actually did some updates to it. All right, and this is the actual uh, widget itself. Once you're signed into ElfSite, they give you a very, very good visual builder, okay? Um, that's what I love about it the most because it's not like a builder where you just play with a bunch of settings and then you have to preview it, then you have to go edit more settings and then preview it again. That just gets really, really annoying. This is a live visual builder, and as you can see here, um, the first thing that they have are the sources. So if you click on add sources, there's a ton of different review sources that you can pull from. 
I still wish they would give you the option of having a custom review source, maybe something where you can add in your own reviews just manually instead of pulling them in. Um, they don't have that yet, but no big deal, okay? Um, you have a lot of different filters, so if you only want to show five-star reviews or four, four and five-star reviews, um, you know, the minimum rating, there's a lot of different things that you can do with that. Um, you can do show reviews only with text. Um, so if you have some that are just five-star ratings um, and they're not leaving an actual review, you can toggle that on or off. Um, if we go over to, let's see here, this is the layouts. They have list, masonry, grid, carousels, embedded badge. They even have customized now. Um, you can do the content with 1200 uh, PX, so you can adjust that based on the layout that you're using. So a lot of different things that you can play with. Carousels are pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people love the carousel feature. But for what I'm doing, I really like the masonry, okay? Um, you even have options with like the widget titles, the tabs. So tabs are like you can filter by Google reviews, Facebook, Trustpilot, whatever ones you put in there. You can filter by that, of course. There's a lot of different options. I'm not going to go through everything here. Um, even the reviews itself. I know one thing that looks really cool, you see how all these are in black, okay? Uh, my client wanted that, you know, just to keep it minimal, I guess. But you can do, one thing that you can do is this. Okay, so yeah, under the review and then under the appearance, you can change the source logo color from custom to native. And boom, it instantly pops in you know, like Facebook logo, Trustpilot logo, Google, and it really makes these pop a lot more. Um, and I believe it gives a little bit of an association with these brands because we're all used to seeing these colors and how Facebook looks because it's blue or Trustpilot because it's green. You know, it just looks really clean. The BBB, you got the little logo there. Looks really, really cool. Um, you can change corner radiuses, make them square, make them more curved. I mean, there's lots of different things that you can do with this, okay? Once you are done, okay, I'm not going to click on it here. Oh, also, one thing that I love about it is it does schema for you automatically. So what is schema? Um, basically, it takes all of these reviews and it gives you, it automatically puts the schema on the page that you're doing this for. So when people search that site and it shows up in like a Google search, it's going to show those orange stars underneath your search result um, when they're searching for it in Google. So that is awesome. It makes it a lot more um, helpful to get it clicked on type of thing. Okay. So let's actually get this installed here on a website. Now for this example, I'm going to be using one of my client's websites. It's actually the same one that we were just previewing. And they're using a carrot website, okay, which is for real estate investors and it's based on WordPress, okay? Now, once you see this, it's gonna look very familiar because they do use the Gutenberg editor at this time. But whether you're using uh, WordPress with like Divi or WP Bakery or Elementor, uh, Beaver Builder, whatever it might be, uh, Squarespace, a Wix site, all you're doing is dropping a piece of code. So as you can see here, once you're done editing, they give you a code for your widget. So you're just gonna uh, click there to copy the code. You're gonna head over to your website. Now, as you can see, we are on their website. This is Carrot site once again. This is the you know standard Gutenberg editor where you're adding blocks, okay? Now, of course, I have the, the page in there, the page title, just a little bit of information here. And then all you do is you add a text block or an HTML block and you add the code. Now for everybody that's watching this and you're actually using a carrot website for all my real estate investors out there real quick, all right, you need to contact support just by clicking down here on this icon and ask them to drop this code on your page. Tell them exactly where to put it because at this current moment, they don't allow you to drop the, um, these scripts on pages themselves. So it's very simple. I've done this for dozens of different websites. Just uh, talk to support, say, hey, can you drop a script on one of my pages? 
they'll ask you what page and then what the script is copy and paste that to them very very simple okay but once you have it in here um, it's done you know and then it it previews for you um, you know this is live on the uh, website of course like I said it looks great on mobile but all in all very very simple to use once again this is all done with elf site widgets all right this is the all-in-one reviews widget um, I'll leave the, the link in the description below of course but if you guys have questions about this or any of the other widgets that they have or anything in general just let me know in the comment section below. I'm happy to help, but I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.